Hi. Hi. I'm Nikki. And I'm Isabel. And we are Young and Adult. Today, for our very first YouTube video, we are going to do the book newbie tag. The reason I thought we should start this channel is because we both like reading the same kinds of books, but we have different opinions on them. Sometimes Isabel loves a book and I don't like it, or the other way around, or sometimes we both hate it or we both love it. So I thought it would make a really interesting discussion for what we both thought of the same book. I think what will be unique about this channel is that you've got two people talking about the same book. So you won't only get one opinion, you'll get two opinions from the same channel. The age will also make a difference, especially we're reading young adult books and I'm at the age I'm not quite a teenager yet and she's older than a teenager. So our views on the books will be interesting, I think. Mainly I'm excited for her to read the books that I enjoy and dislike. One of the books we'll be reviewing is my all-time favourite book and I was so excited for her to read it. I'm excited to just read more. I, I don't read enough. Um, I'm a writer, I want to write a novel, so I really am excited for this channel to be able to read more and um, of course to share books that I love and books that I don't love with Isabel and then to see how we both like them. Yay! I love reading, number one, because it's an escape. So you can come home at the end of the day, you can open a book and you can forget about your life, you can go to a different world, even if it's a, a contemporary. That's what I like the most about reading. I've always loved reading, especially before I got like my phone. Reading was my way to just distract myself. I always had a lot of time because I wasn't really one for playing with toys. So I would read. I remember for Easter, I got a bag of Peppa Pig books and I loved them. I loved those things. So maybe that helped, but I, I just guess I've always just loved reading. The book that made me want to be a writer is, of course, Harry Potter. I've never been so into a book series as I am with Harry Potter. I just think that Harry Potter is the perfect book on its own. Um, the Philosopher's Stone is my favourite one of the series. I think it's such a great standalone book but then the series itself is just genius. So yeah, Harry Potter. I know it's boring but it's true. Hufflepuff for life! <laughs> Probably what like, what is your motivation? What keeps you going? Because I know I have zero motivation when it comes to anything and that's my main struggle in life. I'm not committed to anything because I have no motivation. They always say motivation follows action and I think that's important to say now because as we start our channel and as we start to get followers and as we start to get more videos, I think that's what will keep us going. How do you keep going when it gets tough? You know, I'm a mum, I work full time, Isabel's at school, we do after school activities. How do you find time to film and to do it when you come home from a busy day. So I think that's going to be a challenge for us, but hopefully we'll be able to keep going. I think the editing is going to be time consuming. I have school. I've been really stressed out with all my homework. We don't have much time. So I think motivation and time to actually get going is going to be the biggest challenge. I definitely think time is going to be the biggest challenge. When did I start reading? I don't know. I feel like I feel like for both of us, we've always read, right? You know, when mm. you were a child and right from when I was a child, we loved reading. My dad <laughs> as well um, always encouraged me to read and would read to me and buy me books. So, yeah, I think we've, we're not new to reading. We've always been readers. I've never really had, like, a certain encouragement, but I guess that's always just because nobody's ever needed to encourage me with books. At the moment, the bus. 
It's probably my favourite place. You don't get any unwanted attention. <laughs> you can like be in your own little bubble. If someone comes up to you like, no, I'm reading. Last year I made a pact with myself and that is that I wasn't going to look at my phone. I was going to only read when I was on the train. So definitely public transport is a big one for us to read when we're on the train or on the bus. Obviously, we both like to read young adult books, which is why we started this channel. Um, but my favorite type of book is definitely a fantasy book. I like books that take you out of the normal world and put you into something that's so different and that you can really escape into. I do like fantasy, but as I'm starting to come like be closer to being a teenager, I think I've turned more to the realistic ones where you have your characters who you can relate to because it's nice to have someone who you can relate to and especially with high school it's been really stressing me out. So this is our first pet, Lil, the Australian Terrier. Her name is Lily. Um, she is nine years old and we got her from a breeder so she is a purebred Australian Terrier and she is absolutely the sweetest thing. She's the love of our life. And this is Arth, he's our new baby. He is a rescue cat. He was found in a drain along with his brothers and sisters. Unfortunate, but he's happy now. He loves us. Oh, he's so adorable. But he is called Arthur, named after Arthur Weasley. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. And Arthur and Lil get on really well. They love hanging out together, they love playing. See, look at that bonding. So we're big pet people. We love all kinds of pets. And um, yeah, these are our pets. So thank you very much for watching our very first booktube video. Bye.